Okay, 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 traders. Yes, welcome to the weekend analysis. It is another weekend and yeah, another time for having a list projection of the market for the coming week. So quickly, I'm in a monthly time frame and I'm going to share analysis on gold spot. So actually it has been two weeks since I shared my last projection and last weekend I just shared a chart analysis. So this projection is just a continuation of what I expected in my previous week chart analysis. So I do what to call the top down analysis from the monthly time frame. Then I go down to four hour time frame and actually I do the wave counts together with trend lines and also include the support and resistance levels. So now in the monthly time frame, as I said, since the beginning of this month, I was looking forward for the monthly candle for this monthly candle to move to at least 50% of this monthly, or I mean of the previous monthly candle, but actually price has moved to around 38% and currently it's showing some rejection to the downside and we're approaching the end of the month. So, um, so th does th this monthly candle is going to close with a uh, rejection to the downside or we may have some push now next week so that the monthly candle is not going to close with the rejection. Actually, all of those things are clear as I move down to lower time frame. But basically, we are bullish in monthly time frame. Any movement to the downside, they are just uh, corrections in monthly time frame. That is powerful. Then quickly, um, I, I move to weekly time frame. So now in weekly time frame, basically we see now uh, in two weeks consecutively, price has been pushing to the upside. And actually, uh, it is trading above this level that has been very significant because uh, since in the past now, price was trading below, some at some points now was trading below, then it tried to move above, then back down again. So currently it's trading above again. So now this indicates that now this level is very significant and actually uh, price can move either up or I mean, can move above or below this level, depending on other external factors like the fundamentals. But technically, this level can support or can resist the price at any point. But basically, in a weekly time frame, we are up also because we, we see now price tried to move below the level. But um, by the end of the week, it has closed above it. So we expect that we are, we are looking up in weekly time frame. So that's very, very important. Then moving down to daily time frame quickly. Now we have a lot of information to share in daily time frame. Now in daily time frame, as I shared in my uh, previous analysis, actually, I said we are looking for the possible ABC to the downside, you see. So we have this A here, then B to the upside, then C is going to be completed here. So actually, now wave B has already completed to the upside. So currently, we're expecting wave C to the downside. So um, how this is going to happen, as I've already said that maybe in weekly and monthly time frame, we're looking up. So how this push to the downside is going to be possible. Actually, as I move in for our time frame, we can see now the possibility of having this uh, wave C to the downside. But as I said, actually, we are up in weekly and monthly time frame, so we can still have some movement to the downside in a corrective in a corrective mode. That is powerful. So finally, okay, maybe something important here to share now in daily time frame. Let me go into daily time frame again. There's something to share actually my internet is down but i can do, I, I can still do something so now basically in daily time frame we see we have this level i shared this uh from the monthly chart actually price is trading above this level then above it there's another level so basically we have to look for the monthly candle i mean for the monday candle if the monday candle is going to close above this level so we can expect a continuation throughout the week. And if the, the Monday candle is going to close down below this level here, so we can expect a continuation of the sell uh, throughout the coming week. So we have to watch the Monday candle. It's very, very significant for projection of the direction of, of the market for the coming week. Basically, in four hour time frame, I can provide an uh, what to call the possible entries. So now in four hour time frame, now we see the level is above there. We see the level is above there, but actually I have added the trend line. So we have got the trend line now below the 
uh, below the price here. So price has been touching this several times. And basically, um, we have two alternatives now next week. We are going to trade in one of those two projections now. So now the preferred one or my first projection, I, I expected to see price uh, pushing down, now breaking this trend line here. So I expect the price to break this trend line, then it's going to retest it to the upside and finally to continue to the downside now in a completion of that wave C, I said before, because wave B is already completed to the upside. So that is one. So how are you going to trade this? Now, watch for price breaking this level. That This level is in four hour time frame. So then after retest now, look for the sell confirmations now from right from this area. But basically, I recommend to sell when you see prices moving below 2000. Now, if you see sell confirmations now below a 2000 level, so you can now start selling from there and actually we sell straight down to the levels of around 1945 or 46 there, even though I, ex I expect the price is going to move beyond those levels. Now, if this is not going to happen alternatively, now we can move, I mean, we can see price moving to the upside now breaking this level here. So after breaking the level, so we can have a retest and finally we'll see continuation to the upside. But now if this is going to happen now, this movement to the upside, if this is going to happen, I will provide updates on how far we can push to the upside now in the coming week. But basically, I mostly expect to see this push to the downside. So that is all. Thank you for your time and make sure you do your own analysis and watch analysis from other traders to have conference. Thank you and have a powerful weekend.